Hey YouTube, we're going to do a video today on a working man's toolbox. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for some time. I'm going to finally get it done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the toolbox that I use on a daily basis. Now, this toolbox is not going to work for most people. In fact, it's not going to work for a lot of people. But I'm hoping that the uh, system that I use might inspire you to think about your toolbox system and how you can customize your tools into a box, into containers that works best for you. So let's get started. design off of a guy that I used to work with. So this isn't really my design. I just took it and of course I made it a little bit better. Now, I'll open it up. We'll go inside and we'll see exactly what I carried for my uh, general use on the working day. All right, let's take this baby apart and see what we got in here. Now, I'm careful to try not to put anything in here that I don't pretty much consistently use. Of course, the number one thing you need on a job is a radio, right? I mean, get serious. Pencil sharpener that's seen better days. All hand tools. Only hand tools that I use. If I don't use them, I get them out of here. I don't want this box any heavier than it needs to be. Believe me, when you're going up 20, 20 uh, steps of stairs, it gets to be a drag. Tools. More tools. These are all tools I use consistently. I have hole saws up in here. I have three hole saws I use only. Up inside here, I've got a speed square and a coping saw, of course. Drywall knife. Now, uh, we come down to this lower sec the middle section here this is kind of my bigger hand tools I've got a nail gun of course a flat bar this is should be in anybody's toolbox clamps this clamp here is the best clamp you can get man uh, battery charger flashlight I've got a rubber mallet to persuade the uh, post form countertops into place when you're trying to line that seam up, got a handsaw, another clamp. Here's my dust pan, little sheet of laminate, works real good. A file for laminate, and a little sanding block. Okay, now we come down here, of course, a framing square. Over on this side here is where mostly my laminate tools are over here. So, of course, I would have my laminate trimmer, shears, scoring knife, J-roller. Over on this side, I've got a uh, block plane, an index of, of more precise drill bits that I might need and some spade bits for rough work. Here I've got a drawer. Inside this drawer I've got touch-up pens, uh, just a, a wide assortment of just parts and smaller stuff. Down below we move into the power tool section. I only try to carry what I use. If I don't use it, I get it out of here. Jigsaw. Drill, micro pinner, and of course a bigger nail gun that I don't really use that much, but sometimes I do. So that's basically the inventory that I have in this toolbox. The key is to try to not carry more than what you really use on a fairly regular basis. 
Uh, now this toolbox has some other uses, and I'll show you some other advantages to this toolbox. Now, another advantage that I like about this toolbox is it creates a platform for you to sit things on. A lot of times you have a small screw tray or maybe a small caddy that you have small parts in. You can set it up here. You're not all, all the time down on the floor searching for stuff. You've got something to set it on. So this, this kind of works out pretty good in this regard, too. Now, another option it gives you is a place to set a chop saw. If you just need to cut some stuff, you can set a chop saw in here. Now, I have a plank that uh, I usually set on top of this box that has support at each end. That works out pretty good for cutting moldings and stuff. And you don't have to get saw horses out or, you know, put something for your saw horse to, or your uh, chop saw to get it off the ground. It's right up here at a nice eye level. Works out good for that, too. Now, as I said, a toolbox like this isn't going to work for a lot of people, but it will work for some people. And, in fact, a toolbox like this might be good for a homeowner to keep all their tools consolidated in an area. You can roll it around the shop. You know, of course, you want to put casters on the bottom of it. So that works out pretty good. In fact, a lot of times when I'm doing work at my house, I just take that whole toolbox where I'm working. I'm not running back and forth, getting this, getting that. The only things I have to go to my van for are maybe a circular saw or some of the bigger tools or things that I don't use very often. So I just wanted to do this video, share it with some people who had asked about it, and I'll see you on the next one.